Hey guys, I'm Rhett with Section 8 Real Estate Investing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and leave your questions and comments below. I'll make sure I get to every single one of them. So today's topic is something that I've been thinking about for the past couple weeks and has really blown up here recently. It's market manipulation versus real estate. Now, if most of you guys haven't been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, you are probably asking yourself what the heck is going on in the US stock market, okay? And you might have heard of the crazy manipulation that's been going on. It's retail investors like you or I investing in, in stocks versus the big major corporations and major hedge funds. And there's a battle between them, right? Everyone's seen what's going on with the GameStop um, and what's called a short squeeze when major hedge funds are shorting stock, expecting it to go down. And, uh, uh, you know, tens of thousands of retail investors went online and, and went on their, you know, E-Trade and Robinhood accounts and, and bought that stock and shot it all the way up. So the hedge funds and the, the big corporate investors had to buy back all the stock and lose all this money. Anyway, market manipulation, okay? I've had a lot of questions lately about uh, people asking, where should I put my money? I'm afraid to put it in the stock market when all the big corporations have their thumb on it and they're just gonna steal my money, right? And I thought about that when I had this conversation with a friend of mine and we started to talk about real estate and how there is a significant difference in real estate and the market, the stock market. And what we, be, what we began to talk about was, well, in real estate, name me another kind of investment, forget real estate, name me another kind of investment in general that can give you the, the things that real estate can. And we sat down and we, we started talking and we couldn't think of any. And I wanted to kind of bring that to your guys' attention and, and just kind of talk with you about that. Just kind of run through it quickly and, and, and let you in on what my friend and I were talking about. So what we, we, we discussed was basically in real estate, you buy a home, right? You have an asset. And from that asset, you can pull your equity, right? So you have a, a real asset that you own that you can touch and hold, and then you can actually take equity out of that. So as you build equity, you can pull it out, right? You can use the equity for other things while still owning the asset. All the while, your asset's appreciating, right? If you bought a house in 2000, odds are it's worth a lot more now. And the way the market is, the real estate market is, if you bought a house probably six months ago, it's worth a lot more now than it was when you bought it, right? It, it's appreciating. Now, in terms of real estate investing, if it's a rental property, right, you buy your asset. Say you buy it in cash, like we've talked about in other videos. You buy that real estate asset in cash, you pull your equity from it, you just got a huge chunk of your cash back, okay? You're gaining appreciation every single day on that property, and now you're cash flowing it. So not only are, is it appreciating, and you pulled your equity out of it, and it's an asset that you own, but every single month, it's paying you more. Not just intrinsically, right, in market value, but it's also paying you cold, hard cash, okay? And then over time, you're building more equity. You can pull more equity out of the house, right? As you continue to pay that mortgage, you're building more equity, you can pull more money out over time, and it continues to appreciate, and it continues to cash flow, and it's this unbelievable circle that just doesn't stop. So what else is there? Guys, if I'm missing something, leave you know, leave a question or comment below. Um, you know, we were talking about dividend paying stocks, stocks that you own that pay you a dividend every quarter for owning them, uh, where you own the equity and you get something like cash flow in the form of a dividend. Um, but guys, you know, we were we were pretty hard pressed. Uh, you know, think about this, and and even even if if the market, the real estate market you know, totally plummets, okay? You still own the asset, you still are building equity, your appreciation might be on hold, but it's gonna come back, 
right? Everybody whose house value dropped 70%, 60%, 2008, guess what? It's way back and then some. Um, but you're still getting your cash flow even in times where, where the real estate market isn't there. So, you know, this is a lot harder to manipulate, especially when, when you're in control of, of most of this stuff. Um, it can be, you know, a lot, you know, every, every investment has its, has its degree of risk, but, um, you know, with things going on today, it's very confusing with what's happening in the stock market. Um, this could be your play right now. And just think about that and, and compare the two of those. And, and guys, if I'm missing one, tell me, tell me, name me, name me something else other than real estate that can give you all this stuff. All right, guys, that's the challenge. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and uh, leave your questions, comments below. I look forward to getting to them all. Thanks, guys.